Hello everyone. Today, we're tackling something that can seem a bit confusing. It's connecting the VDG cable to your motherboard. Don't worry, it's not as scary as it sounds. We'll break it down step by step. We'll cover what a VDG cable is, where it goes on your motherboard, and how to connect it properly. Let's get started. First, let's understand what a VDG cable is. It's a type of connector used to control RGB lighting on some PC components. Think of it as the messenger that tells your lights what colors to display. Not all motherboards and RGB devices use VDG. Some use ARGB or standard RGB headers. A VDG cable has three pins in a row. These pins carry the data needed to control the lighting effects. Next, we need to find the VDG header on your motherboard. Check your motherboard manual. It's the best place to find this information. Look for a header labeled VDG or something similar related to addressable RGB. The manual will show its exact location on the board. It's crucial to find the right header. Plugging the VDG cable into the wrong header can damage your components. Be cautious and double-check the manual. Now, for the actual connection. Make sure your computer is turned off and unplugged. This is essential for safety. Locate the VDG header you identified earlier. Take the VDG cable from your RGB device. Carefully align the cable connector with the header pins. The connector should only fit in one way. Do not force it. If it doesn't seem to fit, double-check the alignment. Gently push the connector onto the header until it's securely seated. Ensure all pins are connected. Give it a light wiggle to confirm it's properly connected, but do not pull on the wires. Finally, power on your computer and test the RGB lighting. Use the RGB control software that came with your motherboard. This software lets you customize the colors and lighting effects. If the lights aren't working, recheck all the connections. Make sure the VDG cable is securely plugged into both the motherboard and the RGB device. Check the software settings. Sometimes, the lighting needs to be enabled in the software. That's it. Connecting the VDG cable is straightforward once you understand the process. Remember to always consult your motherboard manual and handle the components with care. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helped you understand how to connect a VDG cable. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like. Consider subscribing for more tech tutorials and PC building guides. Your support helps us create more content. Feel free to leave a comment below if you have any questions.